Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will be learning about this wonderful succulent plant. So the scientific name of this plant is the Crassula Portulaceae and it is from the same family as the Crassula Oveta. It is sometimes called the Crassula Oveta as well. So this plant is also called the Spoon Jade. It is called the Shrek plant because of one of DreamWorks cartoon characters. It is also called the Ogre plant for the same reason. Shrek is an ogre. And it is also called the Golum Jade, the E.T. plant and many others. So this succulent is a very unique succulent because of its very distinct looking leaves that look almost like a finger or an ogre here. And did you know that this plant is an excellent candidate for a very good bonsai plant? And if you grow this plant in the ground, then it can grow to a height of around 4 to 5 feet. So this is a flowering succulent and it flowers during the late winters and it has blooms that have colours ranging from light to dark pink. So if at all you find any yellow or brown spot on the leaves then it could be because of stress or sunburn. So this plant can definitely tolerate full sun however it would induce a lot of stress on this plant. So it is always advisable that you place this under part shade probably an east facing location or a southwest facing location with some shade during the afternoon hours. So according to the amount of sun exposure this plant gets, it changes its colours. So it could turn a little pink or yellow if it is exposed to too much sunlight. If it is exposed to less sunlight, then it would turn a very dark green colour. Looking at the plant, it also looks like a coral and hence it is also called the coral plant or coral succulent. And just because it looks like a sea plant doesn't mean you need to overwater it. This is a succulent after all. That means its leaves, its roots, the entire plant holds a lot of water and it is very drought tolerant. You must not overwater this plant, otherwise the plant will rot and die. So you need to water it only once the surface of the soil or the entire soil dries out. So do not overwater, that is an overkill and it would definitely hinder the growth of this plant. So potting medium that we should be using is around 80% sand and 20% compost and that would suffice. Fertilizer requirements of this plant is very minimal. Even if you do not add any kind of fertilizer, this plant will still survive. You can easily propagate this plant with the help of a leaf cutting or a stem cutting and you can grow a new plant and you don't really have to run to the nursery again and again. You can definitely grow this plant indoors provided that the position that you place this plant in is very well lit. A dimly lit room will not be enough for this plant and this plant will die. So if at all you're growing this indoors then make sure that the position that this plant faces should be either the east location or the southwest location. So if at all you get very intense heat from the southwest location then you can add some shear curtains to avoid burning of this plant. When growing indoors do not place this plant facing the northward direction. A lot of people across the nursery spectrum actually sell this plant as a very indoor plant. However, this is more of an outdoor plant rather than an indoor plant because it requires more sun than you give it credit for. So if at all you are a forgetful gardener and you do not really have time to water your plants or to take care of them, then this plant is ideal for you because it is a very low maintenance plant and it does not require too much of TLC and still it will give you all that you need as a gardener. So this plant and more succulents that I've purchased recently will be part of one of my succulent arrangements that I will be uploading very soon. So until then, keep watching Urbanscape Bangalore and if at all you liked this video, then please do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And also please follow me on Instagram and Facebook, the link to which will be provided below. Until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.